Hola las and fairies, it's Loreja Andrea and welcome back to my channel. Now this video is for the peeps like me that randomly break out from hormonal acne but still wanna wear wigs and look cute. I'm showing you guys a recovering breakout I had about a month ago and when I was wearing wigs with a nether lace spray, I felt it was breaking me out even more, especially around my hairline and it even left acne scars. Now this is my skin now and even though I have on makeup, you can see my blemish have pretty much disappeared and the sensitive lace spray I've been using didn't add to my breakout further. Make sure you girl off stick around for the middle of the video for this sensitive lace spray tea. But before that, make sure you like this video, subscribe to my channel and share it for everyone to check out. So the wig I'm wearing in today's video is from Mega Look Hair. It's 26 inches and comes in 180 density. And if you want a good percentage off of your purchase, you can use my code LA for money off. Now I absolutely love this wig's highlights y'all. They are perfect for fall and just to let you guys know most of the wigs moving forward in my videos will be fall colors or highlights. To install this wig I just sprayed some lace tint and I haven't used transparent lace in a hot minute y'all and I definitely forgot the best way to tint transparent lace for darker skin tones like myself is using a liquid foundation and putting that inside the lace. To seal that foundation in the wig I'm using a hairspray so foundation doesn't get on my hairline and makes the illusion of it appearing darker when I install it later on. This video was actually recorded before my last video where I showed you guys how to disguise the lace grids on your wig so if you're watching this video after that one this is a step to put your scalp tape inside the lace. The hairline on this highlighted mega look wig comes pre-plucked but y'all know I'm super extra and I like my plucking done a specific way. So I'm just gonna do a little plucking around the hairline. Lately, I've been using an eyebrow razor to cut my lace and I like to cut it a little behind the hairline to give it a more natural effect. Now for the best part of the video, here is a sensitive formula from the Even Wonder Lace Spray Collection. I have a ton of videos on my channel using all of their sprays and I'm just showing you my favorite spray which is a Supreme Formula. It has the best hold out of all the sprays in my opinion but I'm having a hormonal breakout currently. I actually like the sensitive formula better because it's less harsh but still gives a nice hold. Like every install, I'm I'm just spraying the lace spray directly on my hairline but this time I'm concentrating mainly where my hair is and I will show you another technique later on in the video on how to apply the spray on my skin and my forehead area. Oh, I just hit the mic Jackson on my tiptoes. Oh yeah, I know we go wherever that wind blows the end of. So once you have the entire hairline laid down, I'm gonna take some Erica J Hold Me Down Skin Guard to protect our skin and spray that on a Q-tip before wiping it around my hairline. I send all of my rap foes like they my tadpoles. Yeah, yeah. Then taking a rat tail comb, I'm spraying the sensitive lace spray on the metal part and placing the spray directly in front of the remaining lace we have to lay down. Doing this method, you can get more control over the spray and you aren't spraying the lace spray all over your forehead, making your pimples and your acne even worse. Oops. I'm way too small. Yeah. I just caught a groove. Yeah. This right here that charms all the fire in the booth. Yeah. Had to go right back to it. Yeah. If you ain't tell my money, please save your breath. Don't bring it up to me. Yeah. I pull up in that stunt like a 007 James Bond type movie. Yeah. Hey, don't slip on the trip. No, 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 no. Don't slip on the trip. Don't 
tempo You can put me my tempo, tempo before we move on to any other step, we need to lay down this hairline and melt it in the skin as much as possible. So I'm using a paper strip before my elastic band and letting my lace melt for 30 minutes. I get lost in where you found me, want you to use me. You better confuse me. I wanna hide the fact that you make me feel that way. Want you to give me play. I see it in your eyes, you love me. Now this is a hairline after 30 minutes and I can see there are some areas where I want to fix and just put a little bit more lace spray on to make it a little bit more seamless. I wanted to keep this recording in the video because it shows how gentle the spray can peel up with tweezers and it makes it easier to fix any mistakes that I have on the hairline. camera I did my makeup beat you know looking like a whole new woman and I'm using a foundation brush no extra foundation on it and pushing that on my hairline to blend it a bit more Pick up the phone now, baby. You got me up and I'm waiting. I also sprayed some Sebastian hairspray, my favorite hairspray ever on the hairline as well. I like to use this spray and brush out my little baby hers because it makes it come out much more natural. Using my Go Glueless Lace Mist, I'm creating little adult baby hair swoops. I really took my time perfecting this lace for this video and I actually like using a different lace from different companies when it comes to wigs because it perfects my skills and I'm not as intimidated with wigs like I used to be a couple of years ago. And it just really just gets me experience and have my insoles be good every single time, no matter what the lace is. Now y'all, I'm gonna come back to the lace one more time later, but for now I used my EAP heat flat iron to straighten the hair. And remember this wig is 26 inches, so it's pretty long. The hair texture, I would say it's not super silky, but it's not textured at the same time. I like it because it's like a happy medium. I don't really like that super silky, synthetic-y, you know, looking wigs. I like it to look as natural in texture as possible. Pushing the needle, I'm leaving the key in. It's running on me that I want me a boy and I need him to see me. Yeah, I know it's my season, my family the reason I be who I'm being. I'm solid. Lately, I'm pushing the needle forward to the people that knew me and traded sides. I'm up now, don't hit me to make it right. I'm out of dough, love and taking mine. Now back to the lace again, I'm using my comb to inch up the lace because I felt it was a little too far down on my forehead. And I also noticed I put it over a pimple, but that just shows that this lace spray didn't irritate my blemishes even more because if it did, this little pimple will be real red and hurting by now. I just made sure I got any excess lace spray from the hairline before I went in with my comb again and reapplied that lace spray.
Now we are at the end of the video and y'all, I have to say I did that. This is the best my install has looked when using transparent lace. I can say my skills are definitely getting up there and I'm excited to keep learning and also teaching you guys at the same time. This wig from Mega Look is a popping 10. These highlights are everything y'all. They bring my skin tone out so well and it's a great wig for for beginners that want highlights like these but don't know how to create them or just don't feel like it at the moment like myself. I linked the wig down below in the description for you guys to check out and make sure you use my code LA for money off. As always can't wait to see you guys in my next one and bye fairies. Because there are people who are waiting on you.